What's up? Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about fun and cool moves you can do at the poker table. Now, these aren't going to be magic tricks I'm teaching. These are just fun moves with playing cards and poker chips, so when you lose money playing poker, you look good doing it. The one-handed shuffle is going to take a little bit of practice, but it's well worth it once you get it. So you're going to hold the deck between your fingers like this with your pointer free. You're going to use your pointer to grab just about half the deck and pull back, just like this. Then you're going to slide your pointer inside and with your nail, you're going to let the deck roll across your finger, like that. You're going to just stretch wide because you want it to come even so the bottoms match up just like that. Now with your pinky and your thumb, you're going to push the two bottoms of the deck together so that they interlace like this. Now you'll flip the deck over, pull your pointer back and squeeze and then release. To shuffle chips, you're going to start with a smaller stack first and then work your way up. So start with three in each pile and put them next to each other. It's important they're the same size piles. And then you're going to put your middle finger between the two piles and your thumb here and the rest of your fingers on the other side. You're going to apply pressure inward with these fingers while lifting up with your middle finger like this. And then you just let them fall into each other. And then you just squeeze together. Once you're comfortable with this many, then you add one more to each pile. When you're comfortable with that, add one more and keep going. The poker chip roll or the coin roll is something that just takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it, it's pretty simple to do. You're going to start with the coin up against your pointer, like this with your thumb, and you're just going to allow it to fall and kind of just balance there. Then with your middle finger, you're going to lift up and clip it and just allow it to flip over, and then you just let it fall again. And then the next finger, flip it, let it fall again. When you get to the last, your pinky, you flip it up, but you don't let it flip all the way. You let it fall between your fingers, with your thumb, you're going to reach under and grab it, so it's going to come like this. It's going to sit on your thumb, and you slide it across, bring it back to the starting position, and just repeat. This cut is fairly easy to do. You're going to hold the deck between your four fingers like this, and with your thumb, you're going to allow half the deck to fall and lift the other half up. So it just falls in your hand. Then with your pointer, you'll push the bottom half up just till it passes the rest of the deck, then let it all fall together. This cut is easier if you have bigger hands. If you have smaller hands, it's going to be a little tough. You're going to hold the deck between the four fingers just like you did in the last cut. You're going to use your thumb to reach all the way over here and grab about half the deck and then swivel it back against your pointer like this. When you get to here, you have to flex a little bit to get it past and then you just push them back together and complete the cut. do the one-handed deal, you're going to hold the deck between these three fingers and the side of your hand, leaving your pinky and your thumb free. Now with your thumb, you're going to slide the top card back just slightly, and then your pinky, you're going to clip it, pull back, and flick like this. And when you do that, with your fingers low enough where it can pass, 
it shoots off. Then you pull the next card and you shoot. Once you get comfortable with that, you just have to start aiming your hand by adjusting it and start dealing. <laughs>